What is up guys, it's Eric Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting video because we're gonna be riding our brand new 2023 Ducati Panigale V4S with the full titanium Akrapovic undertail exhaust system and the Bren Stage 2 flask for the very first time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing I think we need to do while we're waiting for uh, Dodskis to come over is start this bad boy up, give you a sound clip and some revving, and then we're gonna... Okay. Just got right to it. It's already been it's already been previously warmed up. That sounds ridiculous. Oh my god, that's the first time that I really got to <laughs> Rev it. That's crazy. Yeah, it has been. Pre we warm up the bikes every time before we rev them. But no matter how many times I say that, people could still say, "Why are you revving a cold bike? Cold? How would you know if this bike has been warmed up or not?" Just from the video. Like, come on, people, cut me, cut me some slack here. I bought 15 motorcycles in the past couple of years. I think I know a few thing, a few things about them. Um, so yeah, I actually think that exhaust sounds absolutely incredible. Um, I did actually ride it over here slowly, but um, I got to say the sound of the exhaust being that close to you instead of all the way uh, underneath it, you get a lot more sound from the bike. And I was like babying it because I wanted to keep my like initial thoughts for this video. It sounds incredible. And I'm really excited to ride this thing. Um, I think what I'm gonna do next is hop on it. I'll give you guys some flybys uh, since you seem to enjoy that so much. So let's do that. And then we'll take it out for a spin with Dodskis and um, see how she feels. bikes finally so again we're going to be testing out the uh, Bren stage 2 flash the Acura full titanium undertail uh, exhaust system and it also has a sprint high flow filter as well um, I will tell you we did ride the bike before this I wanted to wait and do my whole like actual first initial impressions on the bike with you guys but we were having some issues with the flash going back and forth with Bren uh, one thing was something that we screwed up one thing was just something I forgot to tell them but everything is good now they've been great uh, getting us what we needed the good news is since I have ridden the bike both of us have ridden the bike a little bit um, I've, I've started to develop some thoughts and feelings about it um, when it comes to what this flash does somebody asked me in the other video like what does the Bren flash do just go to their website I'll put a link in the description below or even the first pinned comment there's so much that this flash does it's like pages of shit go on there and read it it's too much for me to go over and 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 I want to keep this review to how does the bike feel with the flash riding it but I can just tell you like pulling out from a stop the idle the gear shifts have been improved they actually reduce the amount of um, throttle cut on the gear shifts so like when you're on it now <laughs> It is absurd. <laughs> and the sound of the exhaust and the downshifts. And I'm just in sport mode right now. I'll throw it into race mode here in a minute. But I can tell, like, it just feels good. And it still has all of the regular tuning. So, like, the I didn't know this, but Manny told me they built this flash from the Acura flash file. So it's not like a completely built tune by them. They take the Acura flash file, which Ducati pours hundreds of thousands of dollars into, uh, with their test riders and their MotoGP riders ride the bikes and give feedback. feedback. Um, so they take that flash and they just improve upon areas where they can be improved upon. And you might say, well, how can he improve upon what Ducati can do? Even though this is a, um, a, a, a racetrack only flash, there are still restrictions um, that they have to abide by. Sound restrictions for one. <laughs> oh my God, both of these pop whenever you quick shift. Oh my god, it's completely different bike over the stock form. It's so good. Um, but like for example, I think tracks you can't be over 105 decibels. 
so there are spots in the flash where they they have to retard the throttle to make it not as loud um, they also Ducati actually does restrict the torque I believe it's in gears one two and three um, in every mode except for race mode a um, which Bren can take care of they can take that out so it just it's like a, a quality of life improvement stuff but I can tell you I have a Bren flash on my Diablo and now we, have, we use Bren flashes on pretty much all of our bikes they've been phenomenal for me and I really enjoy them and I gotta say <laughs> Dotto wait till you ride this thing dude I bet and I'm only in sport mode but it feels Dude! I know people are going to make fun of me for this, saying this, but in, in, unless you're like a seasoned mechanic and you've been riding a long time, where you just like understand how engines work, whenever you're hammering on the throttle right now, you can literally smell that the engine is running perfect. It's not too rich, it's not too lean. You actually do talk about that quite a bit, and you're, yeah. you're usually spot on. Okay, well, this feels phenomenal. I just put it in race mode, and I reset all the settings, the default settings. It was it was floating the front wheel just a little bit, but it, oh my god. So like when I was in um, Miami and when I was racing against Manny and uh, Michael on his S1000 and the, um, the V4 SP too, I could not keep up with them. And I can tell you right now, this is why, because they have these setups, the Bren Flash with the full systems. It feels perfect. And so we, we still got, have a lot more to say. Yeah, you got to go back to Miami now. Yeah, now I got to go back and lay the smack down. Manny said he wanted to come here and visit uh, when the bike's done, so he can hang out with us and ride it and everything else. Um, I think there's really not much else for me to say. I think you should hop on this thing. Holy crap, guys. It is literally night and day difference. I'm gonna park over here. Make you walk a little bit. Don't run over these stones. Dude, holy crap, what a difference. You wanna start off in race mode, Dotto, or you want sport? Uh, race mode. Race mode, okay, you're just going straight to it. <laughs> Dude, holy lord, what a difference. Holy lord, what a great thing to say. Some revs for Jesus. <laughs> Look, we're already getting some bluing going on in there. Dude, I'm not even feeling any heat at all, and it's hot out today, dude. Make sure I get the key for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is so fun. The only problem with that bike is you need to be doing double the speed limit to have any fun. Yeah, it's crazy how... We fight over who gets to ride the Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love this bike. When we go places. Oh, man. I'm really curious to see what you think of that, Dotto. Be careful with all these rocks. I can barely touch on this bike. <laughs> I know. I brought Christina in here and we did her first ride. She was so pissed at me. Why? Because all the stones? Yeah. I feel like I need stilettos. Oh, I need the key. I just gave it to you. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. Oh, you left it in gear. Okay. I was wondering why it wasn't starting. Look at me. You're 15 hours of work to get the exhaust, the, the filter, the flash, the bike all apart and back together. Seven oh. times. Yep. <laughs> this car would go this way. <laughs> Dude. Okay, it's way more responsive. It's, I told you, the idle's amazing. The, uh, the throttle response, as soon as you twist it, you know? Yeah. You got a tractor. It driving, runs a lot smoother. Welcome to PA, you know? You're in race mode, right? Oh, yeah. So are you feeling any heat right now? Because we just sat there with the bike on. Nope. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That thing got really hot with the stock exhaust and flash. Dude, yeah. it looks so good. The uh, factory exhaust is restrictive, and uh, I know that this is probably like nitpicking it, but having an underbelly exhaust versus dumping the hot air all the way back Yeah, there, that's true. That also matters. So. That is true. Damn, it looks so good. So don't forget, guys, you can be entered to win this bike. Patreon.com slash Custom. It's always the first link. In the description below, it's going to be a hundred thousand dollar <laughs> Lamborghini-inspired Ducati Panigale. 
when we're done the um, the carbon fiber is actually with the painter right now David our local painter and um, we should have it back in the next probably two weeks I would guess and then we're gonna be starting to put this thing back together replacing all of the factory parts with the carbon fiber and it's gonna be absolutely incredible <laughs> It popped right when you went by me. <laughs> that's, that's what I was trying to do. Dude. It's a rocket ship. It's so smooth. It, like the linear curve is like not choppy whatsoever. No, it's perfect. And, and on the stock tune, there was some choppy on and off the throttle. It felt really abrupt and I didn't like it. And they smoothed all that out. Especially in race mode. Dude, that bike is <laughs> really good. Like, really good. I'm super happy with how it came out. I really am. And we're only halfway done. Not even, actually. By the time we do all the other carbon parts and the wheels and all the upgrades for the brakes and the, the whole, like, handlebar upgrades and the rear sets and everything else, that thing is going to be insane, dude. I know. It doesn't even hesitate. I'm all the way down at, like, I don't know, like, below 5,000 RPM. And it's just like... <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah immediately picks up and goes. And it's crazy how, like, look at this, watch. Watch, ready? <laughs> Just instant. It's instant. There's no lag whatsoever. It doesn't feel like it's bogging down. I just want you to feel one pull where you're, like, high up in the RPM. Okay, go left here. Go left? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. I was going to say, don't pull out, lady. Yeah. All right, you want to feel one what? I want you to get high up in the RPMs. Oh. Okay, that feels really good. You know, like when you're high up, uh -huh. and it just keeps pulling harder and harder and harder, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Yeah, the front end just comes up. It does, just a little bit, it floats uh -huh. it. Those cracks though, the pops when you're shifting, <laughs> holy shit. You know, it's crazy that I don't hear much of it. I hear it in your head, through because your it's helmet, so far away. Through the comms, yeah. Yeah. I love the instant throttle. I've never, I've never felt this bike feel so healthy. Dude, it's it gone. looks so good. You're right, it feels totally unrestricted and free now, like it's supposed to. And there's still some adaptive learning that's gonna happen too. Like, we need to get some more miles on it. <laughs> Dude, that makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Isn't it scary how fast that thing is? It's... But, but you touch the brakes and you're like... Oh, yeah. You know? They're good. It's incredible. I'm trying to get it warmed up a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit on my left leg, but as soon as I start moving... Like, if I let off the throttle, I feel a little bit, but it's not, you don't get that um, radiant heat. It's totally manageable now. That's like an acceptable amount of heat. I love it, man. I, I truly love it. I, I can't say anything bad about it. Now that the bike is out, after all the little quirks were fixed up and yep. the Brent Flash is on point, I'm, I'm very satisfied. I mean, those guys, they don't disappoint. No, they don't. And that exhaust... Uh, is it worth ten thousand dollars? I don't know. I mean, would it be almost just as good with a with a slip on and a and a and a tune? Probably, probably, you know. But just to have it, like just to have it, it's it's incredible, you know. And that's what and, these builds are all about. And it's different. It is. You don't see very many of these guys, and they're on back order right now too. So good luck trying to get one. You know what's crazy? The first gear in this is so long. It is. It's a very long first gear. I know, I always freak out when I see that. Yeah, dude, both of these bikes feel amazing. Both how's, it, how's it sound when you're like right behind it? Incredible, incredible. It sounds so good. I wish that I could... I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take this out for the next video, and I'm gonna do a raw exhaust sound video. I'm gonna put on my GoPro with uh, my Hero 10 with the 4K, and my good mic inside my helmet. And I'm going to just do like a raw five minute clip of just all exhaust sound because this mic doesn't, 
when I'm connected via intercom, it doesn't really get the exhaust sound. It does a good job of like filtering out all the extra noise, but it takes away from how it really sounds. <laughs> it's definitely shooting flames. I saw one right there. <laughs> oh my God, what a fucking cool exhaust system. That is so dope. Hats off to Ducati on that one, dude. I had my doubts and they have all been, they've all been silenced. That is a dope exhaust. I think it's the best one for this bike, for sure. All right, we made it back home. We're gonna pull the bikes up and hop off the bike to give you our final thoughts and feelings. Also, we're gonna be doing uh, mods on Christina's new bike. So make sure you head on over to her channel if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna be doing a first ride on her Panigale V2 uh, very soon as well. We just wanted to get this first mod done because I hate riding bikes with uh, big old ding dong tail, tail uh, fenders on them or whatever the hell it's called. But listen to this thing, dude. <laughs> He's just like, it hurts my little ears. That thing is like... Give me some it, reps. It's like Big Papa to this thing. Oh, I don't know, man. They both sound really good. All right. We're back safe and sound. God, I... Honestly, I'll never get over how gorgeous that bike is. The color scheme, everything about it just works so well. And I can't wait until this one has its custom paint scheme. We'll have our, our version of the Lamborghini Panigale. We'll have the... Lamborghini Diablo, and then I have the Lamborghini Street Fighter coming soon. So we'll have all three of, my, in my opinion, Ducati's best motorcycles, Lamborghini-inspired versions. But um, <clears throat> there you go. See if I can give you guys a little taste of it's bluing in there in some areas. Looks really good. And then over time, it'll probably blue in right here and in some other areas as well. Um, you can't see as much of the exhaust as I thought. I think we probably could have even get some blue areas up here too. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of blue in any other areas yet. I'm Which definitely is... seeing purples up oh, there. Oh, you? Oh, okay. My headers. tough for the camera. But to get in there? Through, yeah. I can't... The oh, down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You can see it in there. It's too dark for the, the GoPro to pick it up. But um, overall, very impressed. And when we were running into some issues, we actually had an exhaust leak by the O2 sensor that Dotto had to fix in the back there. Oh, there's purples right in there. Um, that was throwing a check engine light and it was put, I think putting the bike in the limp mode. And when I was riding it, I was gonna do it. I was like, I need to get this video out. So I'm just gonna do it. I don't care if the engine light's on. And thank God I didn't because I was, I was pretty disappointed with how the bike felt. And it makes sense because it was literally going in the limp mode. So we were able to get that fixed. And then we were having an issue because of the charcoal and they sent out a flash and got that fixed. So now, we're all good to go and the bike feels night and day different. Like that does not even, feel, it honestly doesn't feel like the same bike. It really doesn't. It, the throttle is incredible. The quick shift is better. The power is insane. It's smooth all throughout the rev range and pops it's just a lot more fun. Flame. Yeah, the pop, yeah, dude, it shot a flame out of the right side only That's whenever, funny. whenever it shot that flame. Just felt really, really good. So yeah, there you go. We're gonna go actually push Christina's bike you guys haven't even seen it on the channel it's over there we're gonna push that out back do her first mods video and uh i think that's gonna do it for this one so hey nice work dotto that was a hell of a lot of work getting this exhaust installed that was no joke we got a hair on the lens there but um that's it for, for this video. Uh, next video, I'm gonna be doing that uh, pure sound video, something I've never done before, so I hope you guys are excited for that one. And if it does well, I might do pure sound videos for other stuff, cars, but I can do it for my bike, for Christina's bike when she gets her exhaust and stuff. Um, and then we're gonna be digging back into this thing, getting ready for whenever the carbon fiber parts, our painted parts come out, which is gonna be in the next couple of weeks. So the build's gonna get really cool, really fast. And again, huge shout out to Brand Tuning for sending out the flash, massively appreciate it. it feels phenomenal, you guys did a great job. Um, huge thank to Moto Million for sponsoring the build. Um, you can always use their uh, link in, in my code, save yourself some money in the, in the description below. And don't forget, you can be entered to win this bike. Patreon.com slash Custom is always the first link in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.